This is Twit. So imagine, if you will, a world with two competing graphics companies. There's perhaps a third processor manufacturer that occasionally claims to be closing in on the two lead 3D GPU performers. But in reality, it's really a one-two fight between, oh, let's call one NVIDIA and let's call the other one AMD just for the purposes of our thought experiment here. And one of them releases a new hotly anticipated GPU on the wake of their hotly anticipated CPU, which has delivered unprecedented performance value for the dollar. And let's say they actually managed to take over one of the prime spots in the retail market, the best performing $400 GPU. What do you do if you're the other company? In this case, we'll call them NVIDIA. Well, you drop an entirely new GPU that practically guts the price performance numbers for your top of the line everyday $500 GPU. You call it the GTX 1070 Ti. And, you know, I'm not kidding here. If the numbers we've seen leaked, and we talked about it a couple weeks ago, are correct, this is essentially $500 worth of GTX 1080 for $400 called the GTX 1080 uh, Ti, mostly, I think, so that NVIDIA can claim they have the best, almost entirely. So NVIDIA can have the best performing GPU at $400. And as a side benefit, they get to piss me off because I bought a GTX 1070 a couple months ago. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter about that. You know, we said it before. The the rumors are pretty much correct. 2,432 uh, CUDA cores up from 1,920 on the uh, 1070, which is a huge freaking jump. And within 128 of the GTX 1080, uh, clock frequency goes up uh, 101 megahertz up to 1607 megahertz. Um, you know, this is, this is, you know, and we can expect overclocking uh, beyond the 1683 megahertz boost clock, which is technically the same as UTX 1070. Um, increase in texture units, a jump in TDP, so you're going to be sucking down 180 watts, which is a little bit higher, but not much. 8.1 teraflops peak computing power compared to 5.7 teraflops on the 1070. 1070 drops to 349. Uh, the MSRP currently is 449 on the GTX 1070 Ti, but that's okay because, as we mentioned earlier in the show, you pretty much can't buy a Vega 56, and if you do, you're paying 470 bucks or higher for it. When are they going to ship, man? <clears throat> uh, review. So they're on pre-order now. Apparently, they're shipping for November second. Uh, reviews will be able to go up November second, so next Thursday. A um, couple of interesting things that I found out since we posted this news story. One is if you look at um, all, like MSI announced five, EVGA announced right. four models. If you look at all of them. They all have the same claimed base and boost clock speeds. None of them are overclocked. None of them come huh. from the vendors overclocked, <laughs> which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, NVIDIA is not allowing add-in card partners to ship pre-overclocked cards. Now, you can still overclock them yourself. You can still use software and overclock them by offsets and you know small tweaks to voltage and memory and all that stuff. You can do all that yourself once you get the mm -hmm. card. But out of the box, they're not letting people do that. And um, the reasoning, NVIDIA hasn't said this, but the obvious reasoning is that it's the 1070 Ti and the 1080 performance are not that far apart. A handful of percentage points at the most. Right. So it was going to be very likely that some overclocked 1070 Ti was going to outperform the GTX 1080, you know, you know, right. stock to stock. And in order to avoid that total you know, nightmare PR disaster, yeah. Uh, they just said, just don't overclock them out of the box. So now you still see, you know, MSI has five different cards that have five different coolers on them. EVGA has four different coolers. They even use the same, you know, FTW, SC, uh, Black Edition, all the same monikers that they've used before. Only this time, the only differentiation point is the cooler implementation and whatever other stuff they might have. Right. Um, and from my understanding, these vendors aren't even allowed to bin the parts, right? So the higher end cards don't get the best GPUs necessarily. It's kind of more luck of the draw here. So the only thing you get for paying more for a higher price EVGA or MSI card is the potential for more overclocking <laughs> for that specific GPU because you have a better cooler in place. Um, hmm. So it's it's really odd. NVIDIA did this whole launch very odd. Like I, They didn't brief media about this before launch at all. 
they didn't send out cards before this launch at all. I haven't seen one of these products yet. I think we have uh, one or two coming in tomorrow. Um, like I said, they, they, they kind of didn't communicate to their partners what they were doing and why and, and what it was all going to be about. Uh, it, it's a very odd launch. It's still kind of surprising in some ways that they would even do this. Um, <sighs> dr dr dropping the price of the 1080 a little bit would have been another option to have mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to this. Because I feel like, you know, if there's a 1070 Ti and a 1080 in stock and they're at their MSRP, you would you would always buy the 1070 Ti at this point. Right. Um, there's obviously some noise in the system that is the mining craze that's still ongoing, although not as dramatically about, you know, screwing up GPU prices and availability and stuff. So, and I expect this card to be unfortunately very popular with that crypto mining uh, audience because it is using the same lower latency memory as the GTX 1070, but has higher performance like the GTX 1080. So that's another reason. So if you can find a pre-order for one, and this is the kind of product and performance metrics you're looking for, nab it while you can. You know, they're going to sell. They're selling the Founders Edition through NVIDIA.com. They're you know they're pre-ordering ASUS and EVGA and MSI and Gigabyte cards and all that stuff on the normal Amazon Newegg locations. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a really odd launch from from my end on the back back end of like, you know, all we heard was rumors about this, and I kept and I kept thinking to myself, well. It's not really going to be launched on the October 26th because I've in like the last 16 years, I have never been not contacted by NVIDIA right. for a new product launch. Even even if it's like a, a Quadro or a, a, a something like that, right? They, I usually get some kind of notice about it beforehand. Um, so I don't really know if that's indicative of anything, indicative of anything for the future of what they're going to do or they themselves understand that this is a very odd card to introduce very late in the game that is purely reactionary and so they just kind of here it is we don't want to talk about it buy it if you buy it if you could buy it right that's kind of the mentality right. i think they're taking with it so i don't know if it increases availability for people i'm all for it if not it's just another product to be hard to find well, I mean, we were joking last week, or maybe I was joking last week with the idea that they, you know, they'd stockpile the warehouse of these to last them through the entire holiday shopping system. And once they had millions of them waiting in the warehouse or or tens of thousands or whatever the magic forecasting number was, that then they would make the announcement. But this just feels like a giant sort of corporate ego driven announcement um, to kind of beat up on the competition. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, and of course, to sell more cards to miners, but we'll see. We'll see, kids. We'll see. I mean, yeah. you know, there, it, 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 as much as I'd like to say, uh, you know, I'll, I will wait for the PC per benchmarks. Um, you know, it's a significant increase over the performance of my 1070, but I'm not sure I'm going to buy a whole new $450 card three months after I bought a $400 card that's now a $350 card. <sighs> Unless I can find somebody, if you're interested in a 1070, <laughs> and I can actually buy a 1070 Ti, please tweet at Patrick Norton. <laughs> we'll work something out, especially yeah. in the Bay Area.